Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to talk about custom code. Custom code is an advanced topic. If you do not know Java coding, don't enter here. You need to learn Java. Okay. I'm going to show you a basic custom code how you can use in Rational Performance Tester. I'm going to create a new test okay I'm not going to record anything I just want to show you the custom code I create a new test now I say this is a code test then I click next okay no description I say this can have HTTP and the core features of uh, Java okay then I click next uh, then I finish okay so it's it's an empty test it has no request HTTP request. If you record, it will have HTTP request. But right now, it's an empty one. What I'm going to do is select. I select the test. I click Add. I click Custom Code. It opens up a custom code here. There is a name. Now, what I'm going to say is, I say this is a new code. Okay. I'm creating new code. First, click View Code. Then it opens up a completely new window, which is an Eclipse window. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a file write operation. Okay. If I want to do something to do with, with files, import java.io.star. So you need to have that imported. Without that, you cannot do file handling. Now what I'm going to do is I have this code a try catch code just to read file writes uh, it's a buffered writer now I'm going to write c colon new file dot text okay if you go to c colon now there is no file called new file okay now I go inside now let me say new rpt file dot text okay I'm going to write uh, you can even write it in a loop. Right now I'm doing two lines. I create an object. This is pure Java. I'm not going to teach Java over here. What I'm going to show is you can include a Java code as a custom code in RPT. Execute that. What logic you build inside is up to your product and functionality. But this is a feature available. I'm just writing two lines. I create the file. I then finally write that. Then I close the file. If there is any exception I do this finally I return null this is a very simple custom code okay right now there is no file now I go to this code test okay in this code test I'm going to execute this okay after execution you should see a file new rpt file here in the C directory with those two lines written now I go here run as a test okay, let me do it once again it starts running once it finishes the run you could see that file written in the backend okay on the disk especially on the C drive now the test is complete now I go to seek drive you see that new RPT file double click it has written those two lines now if you want to make any more Java coding over here all you need to do is okay I come to this code what I'm going to do is instead of these two lines I'm going to write uh, say int i I'm creating a variable int for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 say i plus plus then all I'm going to do is write this this whole stuff okay I'm deleting these two lines now I'm writing this plus I want to write that integer variable I integer dot uh, two string right two string of I so I'm converting that integer the counter i to a string okay then I am appending that to this then I am printing that particular value then I am printing a new line so right 
in this case, what it is going to do is, instead of writing two lines, this time it is going to write 10 lines with, hello, this is line 1, this is line 2, line 3, something like that. So once you have done it, same trick, again, I select that, run it once again. So this way you can start implementing your logic in the custom code. Okay. And what you build inside the custom code, okay, now the file is written. Let us double click. Now see here, the first two lines are there, the previous time we have written. It has appended the new one, 1 to 10 in this one. So this is like you can do custom logging, you can do anything using this custom code. So the custom code is used whenever you want to do data manipulation, logging, etc., etc. Very simple, select the test, add custom code then this code will appear inside the code what you do right now I have written to a file you can do whatever you want this is a very simple example of the custom code okay I'll stop this session over here thank you